16.5b rectangle problems and perimeter problems. Recall that the perimeter of a rectangle is P equal to 2 links plus 2w and area is equal to the links times the width or L times w. One thing that you'll need to keep in mind when solving these is that we want to solve the perimeter equation for a variable and then substitute that variable in the area equation. So we're going to be using both equations here. So in example one here, we're given the area is equal to 54 meters squared and our perimeter is equal to 30 meters. So what we want to do here is we want to take our 30 equal to 2 links plus 2w and we want to solve for one of our variables. I'm going to go ahead and solve for links. So that being the case I'm going to subtract 2w from both sides. So I now have 30 minus 2w equal to 2 links divide by 2 and we get 15 minus w is equal to our links. We're going to substitute that into our area formula and we're going to have 54 is equal to W times 15 minus W. Now if you're more comfortable you can change your W's now to X's. If that makes you feel a little more comfortable. It doesn't matter. So now we have 54 equal to 15W minus W squared we want everything on one side, so I'll subtract 54. So we have 0 equal to a negative 54 plus 15w minus w squared. We need to have it in order and it would be a lot easier if we did not have a negative w squared. So we're going to divide or multiply by a negative. So we have w squared minus 15w plus 54. All right, let's see. Does this factor nice? I'd say it would. Factors of 54 that add up to be 15 are 9 and 6. So we're going to get that w equals 9 and 6. So we want to go back into our equations. We had 54 equaled, we'll choose 1. If, if our width is 9, then our length is 6, which kind of makes it kind of backwards. Basically what we're looking at here then is the fact that we have a width of 6 meters and a length of 9 meters because we usually think of length as being the longest. But you're going to want to substitute back into one of your equations make sure that they work. Sometimes one of these will not work so then you would eliminate it based on the information that you're given. Okay, let's look at our second one. We're given that the area of this rectangle is 24 inches squared and that the perimeter is 22 inches. So we're going to take 22 equal to 2 lengths plus 2 widths. We'll just go ahead and solve for lengths again. We'll subtract 2w. So we get 22 minus 2w equal to two links divide by two and we're going to get 11 minus w is equal to our links. 
So what that means is that we have 24 equals w times 11 minus w. So now we solve. We get 24 equal to 11w minus w squared. Move our 24 over. So now we have 0 equal to negative 24 plus 11w minus w squared. We're going to change all our signs and put that in order. So we get w squared minus 11w plus 24. So factors of 24, that add up to be 11. We're going to get 8 and 3. Okay, so we know area is equal to 24. Well, 24 equals 8 times 3. So that means that our, in this case, that 3 inches is our width and our length would be 8 inches. And we're done.